very happy with the result. He's relieved that this matter is now behind him and he's looking forward to moving on with his life. But details of his past can be revealed. He's described himself as a superhero on Facebook and boasted of betting 260 women. He claims he's picked up more than 100 dates on Tinder and one of those women who gave a statement to police says she experienced his first date formula. It was very much belittling. He thought he was the man and... I should have been, I guess, a bit more doting on him, um, but that's not how I was. Yeah, you could. he was an intimidating person. They'd been at a bar for just half an hour before he suggested going back to his apartment like he did with Warriena Wright. He, yeah, definitely wanted to sleep with me. That's what he wants out of women. Last year, he penned police an apology and served six months in prison for a drunken car chase. But no words of apology yet for the Wright family. His lack of sorrow is primarily due to my direction. Um, he has often expressed sympathy to me and a willingness to express his sympathy to the family members. But it's certainly been, a, been my advice not to do that. Outside court, Warriena Wright's family made a final plea for privacy. So they have an opportunity to pull the pieces of their own life back together again. And so they also have the space to grieve in their own way and in peace. It was dubbed the trial of the year here in Queensland and the intense scrutiny on this case almost saw the trial aborted before the verdict was even handed down. A juror was cautioned for posting on social media and police went on the hunt for a mystery blonde who was live tweeting suppressed information. I was wrongly detained and questioned over that. There's speculation Gable Tosti could make a deal to sell his side of the story.